Green Bay is on the verge of missing the playoffs for the second straight season. After Sunday night's loss, Rodgers spoke about big picture situations with his career. I obviously got a lot more gray in the beard than I did uh, a few years ago. So I, I, I know that uh, football mortality catches up to everybody. And you never want to lose uh, a season, especially when you feel felt great, you know, starting the season out about our prospects. But uh, you know, we're going to battle the next next five weeks and put ourselves in a position to to be in the conversation. And hopefully, it'll be enough. And like I've always said, you just got to get in. So we got to win these five. See what happens. Aaron Rodgers waxing poetic about what's in front of him, what's to come, and where he's at right now. CeCe, what was your reaction to Rodgers' comments? You know, sometimes I don't want to overreact because as a marquee player in the NFL, you have a certain number of obligation media things that you have to do. And sometimes you're just trying to get through it. Sometimes you're just trying to come up with some answers. You're trying to come up with something to give people a little something because you're the face of the franchise. But the truth of the matter is, you know, it doesn't really mean anything. Right now, their position is what it is. We know they missed the playoffs last year. Do we think we'd be sitting here talking, you know, after 11, 12 weeks, hey, man, Aaron Rodgers is going to miss the playoff? That's the reality. With the quarterbacks and the teams we have in the NFC, if you think, like, you're a shoe-in, no matter who it is, Minnesota, Aaron Rodgers, like, there are no shoe-ins. There's too many good teams, too many good quarterbacks in the NFC that, yes, this is the kind of thing that can happen to Aaron Rodgers. They're not that good. The Jordy Nelson, let's release Jordy Nelson, move on to younger receivers. Hey, it didn't work. Well, that's, that, that is, I think, uh, one part of what was a path that has led Aaron Rodgers to what I would call a dispirited place, a place where he's discouraged and, and not only, I think, having less fun than he's had in recent times, but maybe has less hope for a season than he's had in any year where they've been healthy. Think about this, just this sequence of events. They get rid of the quarterback's coach. Mm -hmm. Quarter He's the only quarterback that matters on the roster. We learned that last year. They say, don't care that you like Alex Van Pelt. He's gone. Get rid of Jordy Nelson. We're going to go with these young receivers during the draft. Trade back in the draft. Now, I actually like that move long-term-wise, but whenever you trade back for future picks, that doesn't help you this season. During the, during the preseason, he talks about how these young receivers, not on the same page, that they are not coming around as fast as he would have liked. Then he gets hurt. Then, to add insult to the injury, the the team at the deadline is a seller instead of a buyer. Meanwhile, who are the rivals? Who are the Packers' real rivals? The Vikings? Bears, Bears. Vikings. Okay, so the Vikings made the single most dramatic free agency move of any team this offseason, adding a quarterback. And the Bears yeah, this made it the, yeah. the biggest in-season move. And the Bears yeah. made the biggest in-season yes. move. So your two rivals are buyers trying to win, win, win. Mm -hmm. You get rid of your quarterback's coach. You get rid of your good friend wide receiver. You, you, you move back in the draft. And on top of all that, starting mid-first quarter week one, you're like, and I'm going to be playing hurt. And I can't miss games. I saw what happened last year. We missed games. And instead of Brett Hundley, now we have Deshaun Kaiser. Like, there's, I, I wouldn't blame him for having his spirits down a little bit right now, which is what I think we're seeing. How much of this is Aaron Rodgers frustrated with his team? How much of it is with his coach? And how much of it is with where his career is and how much he's been able to accomplish in his career? Now, I'm sure Aaron is a very prideful person. For those who are very close to him, there's only a few people. Um, he's a rare very different guy. Um, it's been well um, talked about in the media as far as the lack of relationship with his family. Um, he doesn't have a lot of relationships in the NFL. So I'm sure with all the conversation with Tom Brady and Tom Brady keeps going to Super Bowls and has won five of them and, and Aaron has been in the league 14 years he's seen a lot of that not only that guys like Eli he's won a couple and Aaron's sitting there like wow look at my career is this the way, way I want my career to be and I'm sure Man, there's all times, a lot of times in your career, you look in the mirror and you're like, wow, I wish I would have accomplished more. And the reality is a quarterback in Aaron Rodgers, he might be the greatest thrower of the football ever. But his career will be less than if he doesn't get to and win another Super Bowl in this era where we have seen guys go to multiple Super Bowls. Big Ben, what he has done there in Pittsburgh. Eli, which we mentioned. Peyton, what he done. Man, Aaron Rodgers can't, he can't retire today and be like, you know something? I feel like I'm, like I, 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 reached, a, I reached the end of my potential. Because that wouldn't be true. But another side note. Didn't Aaron Rodgers sign a contract extension? He did. Okay, so... 
The bed that you laid in, you knew who was going to be ruffling the sheets. You knew who was going to be putting mints on your pillow. So if he wanted to, he had an opportunity to do a Tom Brady. You know something? I'm going to give you guys a hometown discount. But he didn't. I want to be the highest paid. He demanded that. They didn't even have to sign him to a contract. He forced them to sign them to a contract. So the flexibility that they have is limited because they have the highest paid player in the league. So when Aaron is complaining, I can only listen to him so much. Because I saw Tom Brady sacrifice, and I saw how that paid dividends for him not taking that money. So, Aaron, we are a collection of our decisions. So that's the organization that he just, that he wanted to stay there. That's how they're going to do business. He's not going to have an influence on how they make decisions. So complaining about those things when you knew those things were obvious before you signed that contract, I can only hear you so much. You know what this year with Aaron Rodgers reminds me of? The end of LeBron's first stint in Cleveland, where the numbers were still there. That playoff series against the Celtics, where LeBron quit, is the narrative. His last stint in Cleveland before he went to Miami. He averaged 27, 9, and 7. Final game as a Cav gave you 27, 19, and 10. But if you watched those games, you knew this isn't the... This isn't the LeBron James we're used to. This it, The numbers are there, but something is off. And what had happened to him was the previous year in the playoffs, he went 38-8 eight, and 8 in a series against Orlando, and they lost. The year before that, he went 45 points in a game 7, and they lost. And I look at Aaron Rodgers, and he's got to be like, man... We're in the NFC Championship game up 12 and we lose. The next year, we can't get past a Cam Newton-led team. I'm better than Cam Newton. The next year, we can't get past a Matt Ryan-led team. I'm better than Matt Ryan. The next year, I'm hurt and our season falls apart. And this year, we're 5-6 and because we can't win a road game. It feels to me like his... I, I don't want to say his spirit's been broken, but it's been damaged. And you're right. He, he can't do what LeBron did. He can't leave to go to Miami. He signed that extension. But what his hope is, I would imagine, is that th the change for him is a head coach. The change for him was at the general manager last year and at the head coach this year because we are not seeing the best of Aaron Rodgers. We, I mean, that is, at this point, this season, some of the Packers' record has been that his play has been good, but not the exemplary level we're used to from him. Just real quick. How much of this gets better once you change just the head coach? If Mike McCarthy goes, which is on the table right now at the end of the season, how much of this actually gets better? I don't think better? the Packers get better. I don't think so. I think it's more difficult to build a coach, someone like Aaron Rodgers, than people realize. And the Bears and the Vikings, they're not going nowhere. Right. They're not going nowhere. Aaron Rodgers, he is married to Green Bay. And he's married to the decisions that that front office makes. And I don't believe changing a head coach is going to bring some, some right immediate prosperity to him. The NFC is stacked with quarterbacks and franchises that can win a Super Bowl. And Aaron Rodgers is called up in that. All right, let's take a break. Coming up, would the Jags be in the playoff hunt if they pulled the plug on Blake Bortles weeks ago? And not yesterday. That's next on First Things First.